Holden was not the first Aussie car. It actually goes to this here, the Aussie 6. I mean, it really does show how Australians love the uh, straight six motor, even as way back in 1919. So, uh, Holden was actually not that Australian because part of General Motors, they um, pretty much got a rejected Chevy. The first Holden was a rejected Chevy, just heavily redesigned for Australia. But this, this is Australian as it gets. The Australian 6. Beautiful car. Let's take some, some screenshots of that. 1919. It's actually really cool to see one of these in person, man. The Australian 6. Of course, I'm half asleep, so any facts I get wrong, I get wrong. But uh, you can have a bit of a pause and a read of that, guys. Goes to show that uh, Holden was not the first Australian manufacturer by a long shot. Beautiful stainless steel dash there, too. So, there we go, guys. Just a quick walk around of the Aussie 6. And what's this thing next to it? French Army staff car. Oh, it's a Peugeot. There we go. Little Peugeot. Pretty neat little thing that. Kerosene headlights, I presume. Wow, look at the legroom. Wow. I could not fit in this. That is really cramped. That's cool. Like that's what you said. That's awesome. That is really cool. Was it Peugeot or Renault? But one of the manufacturers, wow, there's no boot. It's like a micro car. That's really cool. Like for the passengers, you get like heaps of room, but for a driver, there is no room. You can't even adjust it. It's welded there. Wow. I mean, I guess the. I don't know if you can adjust it or not. I don't think. I don't think you can. It's just a giant rod. Got some more controls on that side. Really cool. What is this one? 1913. What power is it? Four cylinder. Ten horsepower. Yeah, four cylinder. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So there's some two cars, Aussie versus French. Pretty cool. Get a thumbnail for that.